I woke up to a text today from my mom because my alarm didn't go off in time and breakfast was ready. On my way to the shower, I checked my Facebook to see if there was any good dirt on my friend in school. Apparently, my friend John got grounded for missing curfew last night. Won't be seeing him on Skype for a while. As I walked to the kitchen, I overheard the TV weatherman talking about incoming storms. So I then sent a quick tweet to the soccer team asking if practice would be cancelled. While eating breakfast, my mom slowly navigated the school website looking for my grades to check up on how I was doing. She was disappointed that I have a C plus in world history, but I tried to explain to her how boring the teacher was because he only talked monotonously the whole period. A student's whole life practically revolves around technology these days, which directly translates over to the way they learn. In order to successfully reach students that are saturated with technology, we must, as teachers, learn to utilize these technologies to reach out to their strengths. One such technology that needs to be used is PowerPoint. When used correctly, teachers can organize their lessons onto concise slides as well as incorporate pictures and videos. Videos are essential to students' learning, especially in the sciences, because it lets them visualize more complex ideas. YouTube can be a great resource to draw videos from and incorporate them into teachers' lesson plans. The amount of videos are endless. There is bound to be at least one video that can portray a concept being taught. As a teacher, I hope to incorporate these methods of technology in order to efficiently teach my students, because I know this will increase their willingness to learn.